Here at Loebsch's paintings from the 1950s mark a distinctive phase in his early biography. Notwithstanding their formal distinctiveness, within his larger corpus of mostly landscape paintings, his school of Paris still lives are greatly prized by collectors. Loebsch synthesized the various influences of his French education. Lejeu's monumental forms, Braque's flattened planarity, Picasso's cubist innovations, and Matisse's opulent coloration and clearly delineated forms. While in Paris, Loebsch felt strongly under the influence of Bernard Buffet, a key figure in the Vogueish miserabilis school of French expressionist painting. Lot 323 is revealing of Loebsch's infatuation with Buffet, both in his choice of subject, a still life with pears in the recto composition, and sense of color, notably the greys and diminished greens. Loebsch's brand of new realism was, however, never as graphic or reduced as that of Buffet, whose early post-war works displayed an existential barrenness that Loebsch never aspired to. The abundant color on the right of the picture plane, notably figured in the yellow jug, is a marker of an internal optimism that Loebsch fully revealed in his mature landscape pieces, as can also be seen in lots 326, 327, and 328. Loebsch approached his compositions with jouissance and vigor. This is evident in his graffito detailing of the pitted interior of the papaya in the recto composition, which features knotted lines scratched into the black paint, as well as the composition with lemons, grapes, and pears on the verso. This cubist rendering, with its breezily detailed white cloth, is far more crowded than the gracefully achieved recto composition. It is nonetheless revealing of Loebsch's influences and evolution. Writing in the catalogue accompanying Loebsch's 1994 retrospective at the University of Stellenbosch Museum, director Miller Ballot noted that the painter's works from the 1950s prepared the way for what became hallmarks of his practice. The responsible simplification of forms, expressive use of colour, and imaginative absorption of the essential characteristics of whatever he painted. Loebsch's contemporary style of painting made an immediate impact when he first exhibited it in Cape Town. Writing in 1952, Walter Battis described his work as compelling, adding that Loebsch's ability to paint big canvases with satisfying assurance represented a challenge to stale ideas in the Cape. Matthijs Bokhorst, who later became director of the South African National Gallery, commended Loebsch's still lives for their stylized realism with strong cubistic elements. <laughs> 